Welcome back to Eastern Ohio and Western Pennsylvania's most in-depth weather forecast video, Weather for Weather Geeks. We're getting set to wrap up the month of July on Thursday, and what a start to the month of August we have coming up for Friday and the weekend. But Thursday, the final day of the month, looks to be quite a bit different. Of course, we have some rain, we have some cooler weather heading our way, and we're going to talk about that in this video. But first, didn't get to cover the earthquake on Weather Geeks last evening. A massive earthquake occurred uh, late yesterday afternoon into yesterday evening out across uh, eastern parts of Russia. This was really something, and it uh, did produce some pretty sizable waves, of course, propagating across the Pacific Ocean. Uh, tsunami warnings were out for the entire state of Hawaii. Tsunami advisories and watches were up for the west coast of the United States. And while there wasn't a huge, you know, 20-foot wall of water, we did have tsunami waves in a technical sense in Hawaii and along the coast of California, Oregon, Washington. Very rough surf and dangerous conditions to be out on the uh, water last night and even into the daylight hours for today. And just how big was this earthquake? It was the sixth most significant earthquake on record anywhere on Earth since 1907. Number one on the list, magnitude 9.5, back in May of 1960. You may remember the quake at Christmas time in 2004 in Asia. That was a 9.3 magnitude quake. 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale, the measurement uh, for that quake in eastern, far eastern Russia uh, yesterday. So uh, one for the record books, that is for sure. And some of the... Uh, some of the footage and video from uh, particularly Eastern Asia and Eastern Russia, very, very impressive. In the meantime, back here at home, we didn't hit 90 today. We did not make it the 11th 90 degree day of the season, but we came close. We got to 88 at the airport this afternoon. The record high on today's date is kind of low hanging fruit for this time of the year. Most of our records are in the upper 90s, even 100 or so during the second half of July, but today's record high, 95. Set it back in uh, 1933. Record low 46, doesn't that sound nice? Uh, we stopped at 67 this morning. We don't have a 46 in our forecast, but certainly some of the nights coming up will be much more comfortable than many of our recent nights. Quick look at the radar this evening as of about a quarter after seven. We have some showers and storms a few hours to our south and east and showers and storms a few hours to our north and west. And the stuff to our north and west is in association with a cold front that is finally starting to sag southward. You can really pick out the front on the temperature map this evening. We're hanging on to 83 muggy degrees here in eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania, but Lansing, Michigan is down to 68, Milwaukee's 66. Now, you know, this is in October behind this front, but it is a big change. And, you know, again, it's not going to feel like October per se around here on Thursday, but it'll be so much different on Thursday, especially in the afternoon, compared to many of our recent afternoons, that you're going to kind of get the sense that it's kind of a fall-like feel to the air on Thursday. Uh, hourly rain chances, we've upped our rain chances for our forecast for Thursday. I don't think it's necessarily a washout. In other words, it's not going to rain every minute of the day, but rain chances will be pretty high from mid-morning through early afternoon, then decreasing as the afternoon wears on. Could be a clap of thunder, and even a you know gust of, a gusty wind could occur in any of the uh, heavier pockets of rain that uh, push through. Now, the models have been waffling around as, to, as far as how much rain to expect. Earlier runs, a couple of earlier runs, showed up, up to an inch or so, and I still can't rule that out. The model consensus right now is closer to a half an inch um, for our viewing area, but I think there's going to be a zone tomorrow in which someone might try to see a little too much rain. Flash flooding risks may be somewhat elevated around Interstate 80 and especially back in Northwest Ohio, Toledo, Lima, Sandusky, places like that. The chance of flooding is probably lower in Eastern Ohio, Western PA, but there could be a zone where, you know, I could see where there are some enhanced rainfall rates. The best chance for something like that occurring maybe in a place like Newton Falls and Warren, Cortland over towards Sharon, um, Kinsman, places like that. Um, it's a low confidence thing, but it's something we'll be watching out for. The setup for tomorrow, our front already will be knocking on the door first thing in the morning. And, you know, there's going to be kind of a temperature variety across our viewing area, I think, tomorrow. In a place like East Liverpool, Selineville, over towards Elwood City, and especially as you get down to Pittsburgh, it's going to get well into the 70s tomorrow. Um, cooler than it has been, but still not exactly chilly by any stretch of the imagination. But in a place north of Interstate 80, think Kinsman... Southington, Mesopotamia, Greenville, all those locations well north of Interstate 80. Temperature might only rise a couple of degrees all day in some of those places. Uh, and the rain, again, the, the heaviest of the rain might try to occur in some of those places. This run of this particular model is not particularly gung-ho on a lot of heavy rain across our area. Some other modeling is. 
either way, rain chances probably decrease towards the end of the afternoon to the evening, and then, yeah, not much to show you for Friday and the weekend. Our forecast remains absolutely picture-perfect for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I've been waiting a while to be able to show you a, a dew point animation that looks like this. We're going to see those dew points crashing down into the 50s uh, during the course of the day Friday. We could see some dew points perhaps bobbing out in the 40s at times at the start of the upcoming weekend on Saturday. That will make the uh, conditions absolutely perfect for the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest. Uh, you know, sometimes in early August, we can have thunderstorms that interrupt this festival, but not this year. It's going to be absolutely beautiful Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Upper 70s during the afternoon, 80 or so on Sunday. Evening temperatures retreating through the 60s. Humidity, an absolute non-story. But talked about this some last evening, in case you missed it. I do think it's going to warm up again after this weekend cooldown. Will it be as hot as it has been? Eh, probably not. Um, but we'll be pretty consistently well up into the 80s, I think, for daytime highs during that second week of August. So this is the 8 to 14 day outlook, which covers August 7th through the 13th, and lots of oranges and reds on this map, meaning uh, it doesn't really uh, you know, correspond to the magnitude of warmth. It's the confidence that it'll be warmer than the average. The deeper the reds on a graphic like that, the higher the confidence is of a warmer than average outcome. And we, we're pretty darn confident at this point that that second week of August is looking pretty toasty. I suspect there'll be an increase in those dew points as well. Again, probably not as oppressive as it has been, but still uh, definitely uh, toastier and more humid than Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be. In the meantime, thanks for watching this Thursday evening edition of Weather, or Wednesday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks on Thursday's edition. Uh, we'll recap whatever happened in terms of uh, tomorrow's rain, and we'll talk about uh, the medium and longer range as well. It's the end of the month, so we'll probably do an updated August forecast on Weather for Weather Geeks coming up on Thursday. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, have a great rest of your night.